Hey guys, it's me Marty and welcome to my channel. Um, so today I have something special to do. Y'all know I've been working a lot on my house lately. I've been shopping a lot for the house. I've been decorating. I've been showing you guys the great deals I've been getting. I've been Instagramming the crap out of my house because it's just becoming such a cozy, warm, inviting and glam place. Um, cause glam has always kind of been my thing, but I didn't really know how to incorporate it. And now I am. So today i am showing you guys how i styled all the stuff i found at there were three different stores so one was joanne's one was bath and body works and one was home goods which is like becoming my favorite favorite place in the world so um i did do a haul post already showing you what i got i'm gonna put a link for that up here now this video is going to show you guys how i styled it i also did combine things that I already had at home. I combined that with the new stuff to get really, really beautiful looks for really, really low prices. So if you wanna see how I style those things, you can just keep on watching. Okay guys, so first things first, and it's funny because my mother actually told me this and I did not believe her that it was going to probably drive me crazy having two separate candles and now sure enough it is driving me crazy so this mirrored my coffee table is mirrored the tray is mirrored these um pedestals i actually got from bed bath and beyond so i'm gonna put mint chocolate shake here i'm gonna take off pomegranate vanilla cupcake that one is gonna go upstairs and i'm gonna put the other mint chocolate chip shake right there because they smell so 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 good and i just want to have them up there ready to go um, so that's that part and then this I'm gonna just bring upstairs and we'll put that upstairs next to one of the beds or somewhere because I have so many so many freaking um, candles it will go someplace I don't know where I also have um I also have this beautiful vase that actually my mom gave me a couple years ago for Christmas it's so pretty it matches my living room perfectly like I told you she's so good with aesthetic she is the bomb when it comes to interior design. She's the bomb for a lot of things, but interior design, she kills the game. So this is where we're going to go to our Joann's um, order. Let's go. Okay, guys. So this is the little vase again, the beautiful little vase that my mom got me. I'm going to take these beautiful pink roses from Joann's. And all I'm going to do is cut off the little tags. Oh, I was going to cut them, but I don't think I need to. I can just kind of peel it off. And if you look, so let me show y'all the vase is a little bit short for the flowers but because the, of the fact that it's taller i just don't want to stick myself somewhere where i'm not going to uh want to keep them in there so i'm going to or not where if i decide to take them out i can still use them somewhere else so instead of cutting the stems what i'm going to do instead is just bend them so that not only do they um not only do I have the option of going back and putting them somewhere else, um, but I can also, they'll also keep their place. Like they won't be moving around in there, you know? So I'm just gonna bend it a little bit and stick it in here so that they, now I ordered four of the bushels at a dollar and 20 cents each. Um, let me put them here so you guys can see them. You might not need that many, but I like a lot. Like, I like them to be really, um, I like it to be really, really full and like stuff. But, oh, and I want them to be short like this. Like, have y'all seen the roses that come in the little, uh, in like the boxes? That's the look I'm going for. I don't want a super um, tall situation. I just want the roses, I just want the blooms to just stick out of the top. I like how this looks, it's so cute. My plan is that it'll look so cute on that mirror tray and it'll pull together all of my blush tones that I'm adding into this room because I've always had red in here. So this is what it looks like so far, super cute. I'm gonna pull them out just a little tiny bit because they're like kind of suffocating each other and some of them are too low. And I or did I put too many in there? No, can you have too many roses? I don't think so. Yes, mom, I hear you. And my mom's in Scott, like she's like about 20 minutes away from here and I can feel her saying, cause you're putting too many, you're putting too many. So here's my little silver rose vase, very cute. I'm gonna place it right here. And so this is what the tray looks like now. 
right cute right i know okay you guys so i misjudged the roses and they are way too big even when i bend them they are way too big for these candle uh holders and these are just bed bath and beyond candles that i use and then i just took the wax out there's like a ton of videos as to how you can do that but what i did was i just put it under the uh keurig and i just let the keurig run left it overnight so the wax came to the top and then i just threw them away so i wanted to keep these because i think they're so cute for my bedroom and i'll show you guys that later um but so the flowers the roses i got for them are way too tall you can see right here like they are way too tall for the um flop the uh vase the jar even if i would fold them it's not gonna work so i just shot my house and up here on my mantle as you can see i have some red roses so i just took those and tried to see if they were a little bit shorter and as it turns out they are a lot shorter, so I'm just gonna swap them out. I'm gonna put these roses in here and put the taller ones in the taller vases. So, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the joy of always being so extra. You always have like extra stuff to put all over the place. So these, oh yeah, these are way, way shorter. So this is gonna work out just fine. So these are gonna go in the other ones and then these big tall ones are going to go into my mantle vase. So all I did for this too, by the way, you guys, the, these came from Walmart, these vases. They were, I think they were like two bucks each. And then I bought this gold sand in them. That was like, I mean, couldn't have been more than $3 a bag if I remember correctly. And I just poured them in. And actually I'm gonna use some old sand from another one later. Um, so yeah. And again, these roses were, I think $2 each. So really like, I mean, such a good deal. All of the stuff from Joann's was really, really, really good deals. I may actually be able to combo them. I might have to because it seems like these are going to be too big. I mean, like these are going to be too much for the little thing. So if I fold these in half, they got so much of that gold sand in there. Folding these in half, just stick them in here. Oh, that's so much better than it was a little while ago, right? So folding these in half, I'll just pop them into here. And I can probably only take two because these little jars are so small, but I have so much stuff in the bedroom. I don't want too, too much things. So and that's what my little flowers will look like upstairs. So cute. there we go. I love these little jars so much. I was dying to find something to do with them because I did not want to just throw them away. Like I love the little clear jars okay people so last but certainly not least if you think you've seen this vase before it is my old glam room vase so it's always in the glam room in the background but i moved it down here just because it's beautiful but i just thought it would fit better downstairs because i found another vase and i put that one there so this is going to be in the foyer so when you first walk in the house this is what you're going to see now this guys is a very very old walmart bag i literally probably got this more than five years ago i got it the same time i got the gold that i showed you guys earlier this is gonna go in the bottom to hold the calla lilies so when you first walk in oh those are great lint these are gonna be right at the front door with this pearl lies like sand down at the bottom to hold it in place so i'm gonna make that right now I'll put this together Hey guys, so here's the tea with this. I'm not a crafter. I certainly don't consider myself a crafter. If I can get somebody to do it, like if I can get some, if I can pay somebody to do it, even if it's like a Girl Scout, like they'll come do their little cookies and I'm like, hey, you wanna make five bucks, kid? Come make a flower arrangement for me. And I'm just doing the same thing I did last time. I'm just peeling the flowers off and sticking them straight into the vase, right? Because they're going to, um, they're going to be held in place with the the rocks but like when i went to the store today and i saw how expensive those things are i was like there's no freaking way that i'm going to pay 25 bucks for one of these when i could just get a vase get some fake flowers and just do it myself like it's not that difficult these calla lilies cost a dollar and 20 cents each 
Now, I'm sure there are more expensive ones that I could use, but why would I do that? Like, that's crazy. I'm just simply putting these all in here. No real rhyme or reason, just sticking them all in there. And now what I'm going to do is take this sand. And again, this sand, y'all, at um, Walmart was probably within the $3 range. I honestly can't remember because I got these five or six years ago. Like, right when I got into my house, I bought these. So that I could add the um and I think the white is gonna pull really well from the calla lilies. I love the little bag. See the bag goes. Oh okay, I guess I won't need both bags. I'm just taking these back out again so I can kind of place them in the middle because the way that it did, it's all over the place. Like literally, y'all, I just did this mostly with stuff I have at home. Like, how much would that cost if you bought it at a store? Right, I know. Good job. So this is the before. And here is the after. So it came out really, really nice. I'm kind of obsessed with it, so that worked out good. So guys, since I didn't need all of the sand for the one that's gonna go in the foyer, I'm gonna put a little bit of it in these, in the ones I used um, for the bedroom. Um, just because I don't like that you can see through it, even though it is just for me, I have to see it and I'm going to uh, be annoyed that I can see the little things at the bottom. So I just want to put a little, because I apparently bought two all those years ago when I did this, but I hate that you can still see kind of where the wick was, that drives me kind of wild. So this, this sand is so, look how pretty it is. It's got so many different like shapes and stuff in it it's gorgeous it's got it's really like crushed shells like it says sand but it's really like it's more like crushed shells and my two little homemade flower arrangements are done so this is the before picture of the of the little tv and this is the after can my key right? Yeah, I'm loving it, loving it. So, this is the nightstand. Y'all remember it from the uh, room tour. This is me. Hey, NXT New Orleans shirt. That's Louie. Oh, anyway, so this is the um, nightstand now, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm going to style my new trays. So, first off, in order to really style it, I'm gonna take everything off of the table just so I could really see what space I have and how I'm gonna arrange it because they're gonna be the same thing, but this one has slightly more things on it. So I'm gonna take all of this off. This old tray is gonna have to get repurposed for somewhere else because it's so pretty. I don't wanna just get rid of it. Okay, y'all, so this is the tray. Again, it is from Home Goods. I got it yesterday. These are the trays. And I got the same exact ones just twice. So my mother again interior decorator to the not stars found this one it's from this brand called r k collection i believe it's a bath tray but it's just gonna fit perfectly um with the pewter headboard see like i mean they go together really really well and it's mirrored like i love everything mirrored so let's figure out how we're gonna set this up so i think i'm gonna put it right in the front maybe yeah, I think that could look cute, right, y'all? The lamp here. I think maybe I like the flowers next to the bed, which is wrong. Actually, the lamp should be next to the bed. And this is why I move things around so that if you're reading or whatever, you can just, you can put your, um, you can turn the lamp on and off from the bed so I want that closer to the bed <sighs> and then what goes on the tray we're gonna put the Bath and Body Works candle a picture of my little Lulu maybe <laughs> so cute and then I have my Apple watch here but I don't really think I want to show it anymore because it just kind of sits out even though I do charge it nightly, I don't want to leave it out. So I'm going to slide it behind there where in the front you really don't see it. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm like kind of in love with this. I think I want to scoot it over a little bit. I don't know. What do y'all think? Like this or should it turn? 
Maybe we leave it like this. Or maybe we switch the watch and the clock. Let's see. Yeah, I like that look because it's got height all over. So we'll go with... Oh, I can't have it right there. I forgot Lulu's water. So I'm going to have to move it a little bit. Put it right in the middle. Yeah, like that. So I like this. Let's push the tree back a little tiny bit. We're sitting right in the middle. Oh, yeah, I like this. I like how this looks. This looks really cute. And now I'll take you out to the other side and we'll do the other one too. Okay, guys. So overall on this side, this is the before. And this is the after of just the nightstand. So again, that's the nightstand that's closest to the door. So we're going to go over to the other side and work on that one. Okay guys, so this one is my nightstand, which is why it is looking like this because I, I was I just woke up, I took a good nap. I have the candle burning, of course, Bath and Body Works, Passion Fruit. Um, I have that little AC thing, it's an air cooler, so all this stuff is on there. So just like the other one, first we're gonna take everything off of it. And the thing is kind of dirty because I had a candle that had wax spilled. So I'm going to uh, actually grab some pledge and clean that really quickly. Okay, I love how in this nice sand, if y'all haven't seen, it's got like little glitter like painted onto it. It's just, I love these nice stands. Okay, time to turn away. Hey, this is the second one. We got to pretty much follow the same script as the first one. So we're going to put our lamp. Whoops. Our lamp is going to be close to the bed. So I do use these gorgeous lamps all the time at night. Then we have our flower is going to be on the other side right here right okay cool then we have my coaster mommy's coaster right here for her water at night and then now we can start kind of messing around with the tray and what else goes in it so i'm excited i don't think i mentioned this earlier but these are actually bath trays and not only that but at home goods, they were um, just $12.99 for these trays. I wasn't planning to get them the exact same, but when I saw them and I, I just fell in love with them when my mom found them for me again, again, she's like interior decorate extraordinaire. When she found it and showed it to me $12.99, I mean, I just thought they would look so much better matching like that. So there's that one. What are we going to put on our tray over here? I think we're going to do kind of similar. My clock can stay right next to the bed because I always have to um, hit snooze in the morning because I never, ever, ever get up when I'm supposed to. We'll put the jewelry keeper maybe. Let's see how that goes. You know, the jewelry keeper is a little too big. I'd rather it not be on there. We'll put the jewelry keeper in the back. So jewelry keeper in the back. And then where's the candle at? We'll put the picture up here. And then we'll put the candle. Actually, let's switch this out. I don't have to blur that picture out. I don't want people on my business. And last but not least, something my bedroom cannot survive without. Bath and Body Works Passion Fruit Vanilla Cupcake. And that's everything we had on it. And we just put it all back on. So I love the um I love the new nightstand it looks gorgeous those trays are amazing for 12 bucks i mean you really cannot beat that so awesome i think that was the last piece too so i'll see you guys in a little bit for the wrap up okay guys so thanks so much for joining me to see how i styled everything um like i said before my house is coming together really really nice i'm really enjoying just being home with everything and we're spending so much time in lockdown that you know I'm seeing what I need to change in my house. And not only that, but I know what I need now to make my house really comfortable and make it somewhere I really want to be. And it is definitely somewhere I want to be now. Even if I could leave the house, I kind of don't want to because I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, if you want to see how I style things, because I take pictures of my house all the time and post things and more information on it, along with the daily deals of the day, you can check that out on my Instagram. And just for quick updates, honestly, that's why I mostly mouth off about politics and stuff, but you can also check out my Twitter account 
or you can hit me up on any other social media, which is always the last slide, or you can um, leave questions or comments down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I can't wait to do more hauls like this. I'm having so much fun on the new Glam with Marty channel, especially as it relates to my house. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you want to see any more tips or tricks, you can follow me on all social media. And I'll see you guys next time you need to get glam. You can get glam here in this glam house with Marty. Bye.